top left corner, file, import. Source engine assets, check description for add-in, source model. To get to your SFM workshop, download, copy, and paste from description or just type in this. Then scroll. Till you find Vok, the model creator. Open the model and press the period key on your keypad to zoom into currently selected object. Go ahead and select the model, make sure you don't have the armature rig bones selected, and press J on your keyboard to join the model together. This will not affect the vertex weights. Using the materials editor, scroll through the textures and look for masterchef underscore helmet. Then open the shader editor. Delete vertex lit generic and replace it with principled BSDF. Create a bump and connect dollar bump maps color to bumps height. Then connect that to principal BSDF's normal. Connect the principal BSDF's BSDF to material output's surface. You will then see that your textures are fixed and that you have more control over how it looks. Hello again, time to fix bones, since exporting SFM models into Blender can be a bit janky. Use Shift S to change things using the cursor, this helps with positioning bones. Click the top of a neck bone, press Shift S, select cursor to selected, click the bottom of another bone, Shift S, select selected to cursor. Do the same for the torso to the hip. Legs and arms are a bit tricky, since they have extra correction bones. But just click the top of bip underscore knee underscore l slash r, side facing up, and connect it with the bottom of bip underscore hip underscore l slash r, side facing down. Do the same for the shoes. Adjust bone sizes as needed, just try not to move the bone's actual position. Onto the arms, click bip underscore lower arm underscore l slash r, shift s, select cursor to selected, click bip underscore upper arm underscore l slash r, shift s, select selected to cursor. Click bip underscore head underscore l slash r, shift s, select cursor to selected, click bip underscore lower arm underscore l slash r, shift s, select selected to cursor. Do the same for the other arm. Time for the most horrifying part of the tutorial, inverse kinematics. Click the top of bip underscore foot underscore l slash r, and extend back some, then select the bones you've made, and press alt p, click clear parent, do not move the bone. Rename the bones bip underscore foot underscore l slash r dot ik, or something memorable for later. Do the same for bip underscore knee underscore l slash r, but this time move the bones forward some, name the new bones bip underscore knee underscore l slash r dot ik. Time for elbows, new bone from bip underscore lower arm underscore l slash r, extend, alt p, clear parent, move backwards, rename bip underscore elbow dot ik. Hands are the same as foot bone, new bone from bip underscore hand underscore l slash r, extend, alt p, clear parent, rename new bone to bip underscore hand underscore l slash r dot ik. Change from edit mode to pose mode, select bip underscore lower arm underscore l slash r, go to constraints, click add bone constraint, select inverse kinematics. Target plus pull target equals master chief underscore arm bone equals bip underscore hand underscore l slash r dot ik pull bone equals bip underscore elbow dot ik adjust chain length and pull angle as needed. Time for leg select bip underscore lower leg underscore l slash r go to constraints click add bone constraint select inverse kinematics. Target plus pull target equals master chief underscore arm bone equals bip underscore foot underscore l slash r dot ik pull bone equals bip underscore knee underscore l slash r dot ik adjust chain length and pull angle as needed.
My brain's gonna explode. It's 1.32 a.m. Last step for rigging. Select bip underscore foot underscore l slash r. Add bone constraint. Copy location. Target is master chief underscore arm. Bone is bip underscore lower leg underscore l slash r. Influence equals one. Woo woo. Congrat.